happy Thursday. I you know this was a short week for me. Um, hope you guys are up or getting up or will be up and doing well this morning. You guys know this is what I do. First thing in the morning is get these out of here before it starts to send us more tubes and cause problems and noises and all that stuff. Anywho, this morning I am going to explain to you all why I switch hands. Um, quite a few of you will say, not a lot, I think I've only got maybe two or three people to say to me, um, you're not supposed to switch hands. My instructor said you're not supposed to do that. Okay, fine. But in order for me to do this sticking thing properly, effectively, efficiently, I find that when I switch hands, I have a more steady hand. Um, and when I use my straight needle or butterfly, but I switch hands of course switching hands with the butterfly is not an issue because you can place the butterfly down and you know maneuver with the straight needle I think is the issue that people have or the few comments that I have gotten they see me sticking with a straight needle and then, then they see me switch hands so I'm just show you I don't have a subject I hardly ever have a subject anymore I'm so sorry about that um, anyway I'm going to try to show you what I do and why I do it. So, for instance, this, of course, is your Vacutainer holder. You've got your needle. We're going to put our needle in the holder and such twisty motion. And we're going to pretend that we are going to stick. So, I place my, t my tube in the holder okay I release my safety device I pull the cap off this is how I have my needle see those little feet and I've tried to tell you guys use these feet they're there for a reason they will also help you with stabilizing your needle this is stabilizing my needle once I puncture the vein for instance I'm in the vein okay now I put my hand here my pinky is on the outside of the patient's arm and my thumb of course is on the top of the vacutainer this is how I stabilize my needle I'll show you with an actual arm later but this is what helps me that pinky rests on the patient therefore I'm stabilized I'm holding on to something and I'm not pressing so much on the needle and vacutainer hurting the patient because I'm stabled here. So now I have my dominant hand where I can gently push away from these feet. When you're pulling these tubes out, use the feet. That's what it's there for. It's there for stabilizing and it's there for removing these tubes. Some people just go in and pop the tube out. No, no, no. Use your feet. Those little feet you can press on the foot and pull. So yeah, I wanted to go over that because it's important. It's a really, really good tr hack, trick, whatever you want to call it. It's just a way to for you to stabilize and for you to avoid hurting the patient. And um, all the years I've been doing it, it's been working for me, even switching hands. So as you saw, I stick with my right and then I stabilize with my left. So if you're left-handed, you'll probably, of course, stick with your left and stabilize with your right. Just play with it. Don't, you know, just play with it. Don't listen to, you can't do that, you can't do this. Y'all know old man can't die years and years and, and years ago. So y'all learned that in grade school. Take the word can't out of your vocabulary. Okay, should not. They could say that. But as to say can't, there's no such thing as can't in phlebotomy. Not even can't get the blood. Yes, you can. So anyway, 
just my little talk, my little rant this morning about stabilizing. If I get a patient or one of the young ladies that I work with and we get a chance, you know, I should have done that yesterday. It was so quiet in here yesterday. Um, I, I had time to come back here and actually do that, but I didn't think about it until I went over my comments and was thinking about what I was going to talk about this morning. So hope you guys like that. Comment below. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's right at 6. Um, yeah. Tell me what you think. Do you use the feet? Have you even noticed the feet on the vacutainer holder? Mm, don't sleep on those little feet. I've mentioned the feet before, but I never went over, over it like that. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go have breakfast. Maybe I'll see you later. Maybe not. Hey, we never know, right? <laughs> I'll see y'all, though, at some point. Bye.